We are still fighting the effects of a global pandemic that has taken its greatest toll on women. According to the World Health Organization, as a direct result of COVID-19, an estimated 247 million women aged 15 and above are now living on less than $1.90 per day. Abject poverty. 53% of these women, that's 132 million, are in Sub-Saharan Africa. The IMF and the UN Development Program projects that it will take us until 2030 to revert to pre-pandemic levels. And that is pre-pandemic levels. That is not the desired and needed economic level where we need women to be. While this pandemic is leaving poorer women, even more poor across the globe, and especially and disproportionately in Africa. The wealthiest 10% of people in our world have gotten richer during this pandemic. Their wealth has risen to $13 trillion from $8 trillion before the pandemic. Now, I'm not one to despise wealth, but this figure screams that we can and we must do better. There is a broad recognition that if we address gender inequalities by women, that will add an additional $28 trillion to the global economy. This tells us that when women rise, all boats will rise. And this is not about entitlement. This is about equality of opportunity. And I believe this is the real challenge before us during this International Women's Month 2022. Let's all make a resolution that we will do something and we will do better. Regardless of where we are, there's something that we all can do. Let's break these barriers that have been imposed on women and even the ones that women have imposed on themselves sometimes. And let's close the gap the gap in income, the gaps in education, the gaps in health outcomes. We at Dominion Television really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Go on our social media handles and tell us what you'd like to see. This is for you.